What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, we are going to take this blue, this double blue rare. It's your flip boy. It's not a Jace, but it is a uh, card that is worth one penny instead again. <laughs> God, he keeps talking about Jace and the value of these other rares he opens. Yeah, it's, it's what are you going to do? It's just a meme now. We're toward the end of the Masters 25 drafts, so I'm... I mean, it's going to be real funny if we do like 30 drafts, which is 90 packs, and we don't know but a single Jace. Whatever. I'll take I'll take Shapeshifter. Well, we got three more packs. So. I'll take a Cloud Blazer. Uh, yeah. I think that's correct. I think you... I think we can force one Cloud Blazer again. Here comes Jace. Here, you ready? You ready? Um, that's that's never happening. I just hit you enough, right? That's going to do it. <laughs> So you expect someone to open a foil Jason and Jace and have one person not take one of them? Still talking about Trump. Don't know why. <laughs> Would love to move past that. What'd you say? You're expecting someone to open a foil Jace Jace. Someone take the foil Jace. Someone take the... And then someone say, no, I'm not taking the regular Jace. I'm going to take this uncommon and pass it to you. Yes. That is what I'm okay. looking for here. I'm just, just making sure we're on the same page. How come you don't wear an island shirt instead of a swamp shirt? Maybe that would help us get that Jace. No, I did just do laundry. I can go change into it if you really want. It's your island shirt? You have your island shirt? Yeah. I don't believe this you. This is my island shirt. It's blue. OSD, still no Jaces, buddy. Yeah, you should wear the double island shirt. Wear two island shirts on top of one another, and then you're good to go. Top five comedians, I would say Larry David. Um... He's not really a comedian, though, right? He did well. He, I think he did stand. He did stand up before. He's a oh, comedian. Maybe. He's a, he's a comedy writer. He's a comedian, buddy. Come on, come on. I think it's Perilous Mirror. A little little shooty, little mirror boy. Um, I'd say Larry David, Hannibal Burris. Kind of a kind of a new guy. Kind of a new a new. Uh, I think it's a that's a dark horse pick. I think. It's really awkward because I would say a lot of my comedians, but they're all. I think a lot of the comedians I would say as favorites are just kind of scumbags now. It's really just it's really mainly the one. Which one? I mean, it's just it's uh, Louis. Yeah, Louis. I would also say Cosby. I think Cosby was one of my favorite. Oh, Cosby, yeah, sure, Cosby sure. was one of my favorite entertainers growing up, and now it's extremely depressing to think about because Ram or Ship, he's scummy. I think yeah, for Ram. some reason, uh, Rams are harder to get. Cosby didn't really enter my mind. I mean, like, okay, so... It's not about him being vulgar. It's about his behavior outside of comedy. It's not about Lucy K being vulgar. That's fine. Right. I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, I don't I don't like encouraging that sort of behavior by... Um, supporting... The comedian. I agree. Louis C.K. is funny, which is why it sucks. If he was some unknown, no-name comedian who was who couldn't tell a funny joke to save his life, you wouldn't know about him, right? He would just be a, another shitbag that... Anyway. God, why does it have to always get controversial? No one cares. Any, all right. Um, whatever. We're I think done. Chappelle is definitely up there. Chappelle is up there. You know what solidified it for me about Chappelle? We watched that Chris Rock special the other day on Netflix. I wasn't really that that into it. Um, I definitely think it's one of his worst sets. Agreed. It was, it and I like, wonder if it was because he was, he was getting older. I wonder if he just couldn't like relate. It's just way more mild. Like his 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 normally has this like really upbeat, high paced comedy, and it but just didn't feel like that. Chappelle is a great storyteller, and I think that works yes. well for him. So I would and say the Chappelle's Ch show is like a legacy on all its own. Yeah, it's yeah, but it's like it's like it's like Kirby enthusiasm and Seinfeld, you know. Which really counts towards... I don't think Jerry Seinfeld is a very funny comedian. I think he's a great entertainer, though. I love comedians and cars getting coffee, and I love Seinfeld. So, Yeah, stand-up is not, not something I'm into. Right, which is interesting. But they're two different sets of skills, I think, too. So... kind of like just curiosity here i do like jim jeffries that's a good one too <laughs> oh juposhi oh look another ship 
For me, Carlin's probably my favorite comedian of all time. Wow. I think, but I, th- also I also really think good, he was a really good t- storyteller too. I also think that's someone you can't really argue with. Like if you said it to me, I would be, I wouldn't be like, really? That's someone I would just be like, yeah, all right. Um, Matthew, I, I don't think I've heard enough John Pinnett to know. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that name. I, I this is gonna sound weird, but I think Jim, I think uh, Mitch Hedberg is overrated. I was actually just gonna say that. I think he tells funny jokes, but like. It's very formulaic. It is. It really is. That's what I was thinking. It's either Angelic Page or Horseshoe Crab. We haven't had a page in a while. Bill Burr's good. I don't think page because I think it's going to be harder to get. I also really like Rogan. Joe Rogan's really funny. I think Joe Rogan is funny. I think he's underrated. I like Mark Maron. Mark Maron is is good. I watched the entire series, uh, Maron, which was an independent film network show, and then it was on Netflix, and it it, it was really good. I really enjoyed that. I don't think I've ever heard of stand-up. You know who he is? Do you know who he is? Google him. Let me see a pic. Nope. Don't know anything about it. He does a podcast called WTF Podcast. Oh, this is a late this is a late horseshoe crab. And a late path of peace. Oh, this is making me feel good. Look at all these playable cards. It's crab, right? It's gotta be crabby. Yeah, crab's good. Yeah, there, I mean there's a lot of good good comedians out there today. Agreed. Like there's so many Netflix but like it used to be like Netflix like or not Netflix, but like Netflix, HBO, or whatever, like comedian specials, like you get like one or two a year that were really, really good. But now it's just like every week there's like a new comedian who's like really good who this, has a Netflix. This special. was a late crab. You're right. Um, did you watch Glow on Netflix? No, that's real good. It's about like this. It's it's got Allison Brie, who is one of my favorite she's, people. She's pretty funny, and she's adorable, and she's wonderful in it. And it's about a female like wrestling troupe. And Mark Maron is the wow. That's a look at that. This guy came back. That's great. She uh, Mark Maron plays the coach, like the 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 the, the manager. And uh, it's a good show. The show is great. You should watch it. I actually, yeah, Aziz Ansari is great. I'm not a big Russell Peters fan. I don't actually know who Russell Peters is. He's pretty big. Wow. Both of these are playable. I'm gonna take the path of peace. Donald Glover is good, but he hasn't done stand up in a while. All right, all these cards are amazing. This is a this deck is looking so much better than the last deck. I also like Joey Coco Diaz. He's a good one. I have no idea. You guys like Carlos Mencia? No one. <laughs> no one. I think I oh to be fair, I think that guy is still performing. Who? Uh, you just said him. What was Carlos Mencia? Yeah. No, he has not performed in ages. He disappeared. He was shamed out of comedy after stealing jokes. Uh, well, I think he like somewhat recently had like a little comeback. Really? Like he's literally known as Carlos Menstelia, yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's it's known, but like he, I think he's still on my tour. Maybe. Oh, 2008 tour schedule, 2018 tour schedule. Oh boy. I told you. I, mean, I don't agree these, with it, but I'm... None of these look sold out, so that's good. Yeesh. Oh, Atlanta. I, I watched uh, one of the newer episodes of Atlanta today, and I was going to say that Atlanta, Atlanta is probably one of the best shows people are probably not watching. Atlanta is fantastic. Russell Peters, huh? I'm going to take Swords of Plowshares here. I'd like to take Quicksilver Dagger, but we don't have red. And I don't feel like being greedy when there's a Swords in the pack. Swords OP. Wow, we could have the Double Nickel Bolas deck. And so I'll just take a man of war. Yeah, let's take the good card. What if there's another nickel bolus here? Triple back to back boluses? <laughs> I bet the odds are better than us opening a Jace. I think they're higher. Arcane now? Over Fiend Hunter? Nah, Fiend Hunter's probably better. I agree. I just saw a counter spell and was like, ooh, shiny. Mm. Combo. Ooh. Yeah, Dane Cook also kind of died. That's because Dane Cook also stole jokes. Yes, he did. His wasn't as. What, as as widely known. Oh, I knew. He also did. You know, like that guy's brother stole like millions of dollars from him. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, uh, I haven't watched Fargo the show, but it was definitely on my short list of shows to watch because I kept hearing nothing but good things about it.
Carlos still tours, non-comedy people still tend to drink and take their dates. They don't care. Yeah, that makes sense. I imagine normal people who don't like, who aren't like super hard, hard, you know, super hardcore comedy fans, they probably don't care. Or they just don't know. I'll take Counterspell over Blue Lens the Blast. Like, it's been long enough. Right, but they don't, they don't know because they're not hardcore yeah, comedy fans. It's also you know? not, it's not news anymore either, so. Deadpool probably makes my top 10 list. Is that for comedians or movies, though? <laughs> oh, look at this Myriad landscape. Oh, another pacifism. I'll just Pacifying take the pacifism, me? yeah. This deck is looking spicy, dude. We already have 20 playables. This is actually playable. We can just keep this in the deck. None of these cards are like, wow, this is doo-doo. Every card is good so far. The worst card in the deck is like curiosity, almost. What was that Showtime show with the soldier and the agent lady? What was that? The soldier and the agent lady? Oh, Homeland. Homeland. That show really, really destroyed its own self. Homeland had one of the best first seasons I've ever seen on a show. I thought the second season was good, too. I think it was all good up until Adri up until uh, Brody died. Yeah. Spoiler alert, guys, in case you haven't seen Homeland. <laughs> That's a pretty big spoiler. <laughs> it, I mean, it was so traumatic. Like, I didn't believe it as it was happening. I was like, no way. He's got to be like a triple agent or something. But then you're like watching it and all this. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. The first season of Homeland. Have you tried to watch the season after that? No. It's I think I watched like the first episode and I was like, eh, it doesn't the, feel right. The show moves over to being like all centralized around the main. The main Claire Danes. Claire Danes. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it focuses on her and like her kind of losing it, but it just feels so weird. And, like, everyone who was working in the office isn't anymore. It's just, it was just really weird. It feels like they tried to, to they tried to have a new show. But with the same, like show, yeah. the same name and the same cast, kind of. Like, with half of the cast. Yeah, it was really Which weird. Which is really weird, yeah. I agree. So, we got Swords, Pacifism, Pacifism, Fiend Hunter in this deck. It's pretty good. Path yeah, I think Dane, Cook, Dane Cook's one. joke thieving wasn't as bad as, like, Carlos Mencia. But I have such a problem when I when you can Google Dane Cook and see Steve Martin and Dane Cook telling the same exact jokes. Oh yeah, but I mean it's been long enough, and he, I think he paid his dues. But it's just weird; he's just not around anymore. Like he just doesn't do. He just faded into obscurity. Um, I've seen the first two seasons of Narco. After spoiler alert, after they killed, um, Pablo Escobar, I did not watch the new one, but I still think it's. I think I I, I want to though. It's still on my list because the show was great. I was actually considering watching that show, and now you just spoiled it. You didn't know pa Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know you didn't know Pablo Escobar died? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny Dang. because... Oh, spoiler. Brody comes back as Zombie Brody in Season 7 of Homeland. Ooh. Wow. That's weird because I think they're only on Season 5, maybe. Yeah, but they, he's got inside info. But in the future. Touching spaghetti all day, boy. I'll take Arcane Denial. I always like having extra counter, counter spells on the sideboard, even if it's Arcane Denial, because... I'd rather just counter your Niv-Mizzet and have you draw two random cards and they're going to be worse. I like that you're still picking cards because I've just been paying attention to the show conversation. I have no idea what's going on. With and our deck. deck still looks amazing. So Okay, great. What does Horseshoe Crab do in this deck? Well, nothing yet. But, I mean, we have a Retraction Helix, so it could oh, do we that. definitely play that. But, like, I mean, we're at 20 cards already. Plus, all of these are technically playable. I'm going to take the boots just in case we get something good and we want to put that on there. This guy's fine. Did we get Brian Boy? No. Yeah, actually, I picked up this guy because we had... Wow, really? No Brian Boys yet. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Got there, boys. Perfect deck for it, too. That is beautiful, boys. <laughs> I hope your, eardrum, your eardrums probably just exploded from that, but, uh, you know, Hunter's real excited now. He came over to see the commotion. <laughs> Finally paid off. Put him in the pile. Not yeah, even going to miss... Even, don't not even going to risk a misclick. <sighs> Did it. Nailed it. I know. It's real exciting, Hunter. 
But then they got to troll us and put ball lightning in the next pack. There you go. That's I'm fine. Gonna... I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take this, per this perilous mirror number two. Oh, boy. Look at the boys. <laughs> uh, Dank asked the question, what, do you, what other games activities do you do to keep yourself sharp and balanced and competitive? Um, Nothing, really. I mean, magic and card games are probably my most common thing to do. Murder of Crows. Okay. Um, I read comics a lot. I watch shows a lot. I write things. I have an article for a PC gamer going up soon on MTG Arena. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Do we play double counter spell? I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's better than anything else in this pack. Look how many cuts we need to make already, though. Two. That's not too bad. This is we're like two. We're like three picks in here. Whew. I can tell you what's not a cut. Okay, I literally got so excited I closed the tab accidentally. <laughs> oh my god. I like Loyal Century. I think it's actually a good a good blocker. We're not gonna play a Prism or a second guide or a second lion right now. Probably don't need Coral Helm Guide, you're right. I like White Main Lion with cards like Cloud Blazer. I, I also think it's just a great way to uh, it's a combo with this. You can bounce it with the trigger on the stack. You can bounce Mana War. You can bounce Shapeshifter to get the Enters the Battlefield trigger. It's just Protect. Oh my god. Finally, dude. What does Angelic Page do? Oh, that's the 2-2 flyer that pumps? That's no, a 1-1 flyer, but okay. it's still... Yeah, like it just makes combat really hard. I am glad it wasn't a foil, Jace. Yeah, that's uh, that's the money, Jace, right there. Court Hussar. Yeah. That's a guy we, we're excited about. God, what do we cut here now? Our deck is really good. Corona Zealot's actually meh. We can cut one Perilous Mirror, too, I think. I think I'd rather have a second path than a, than a third ghost ship. Yeah. I think if we 0-3 with this deck, I'll cry. Not too much, though, because you open a Jace. Look at this. Look at this pack, dude. Playable, playable, playable. It's probably just Mystic of the Hidden Way, Mystic of the Hidden Temple, right? Yeah, I like that guy. I'll replace this regular one with it. You mean this foil one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot about the ice crunching. My bad. My bad. Did someone say, is someone, that ice crunching? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. Another cloud shift and another horseshoe grab. I'm going to take the second cloud shift. Cloud shifting fiend hunter or mana war. Or Cloud Blazer seems really good. Or anything, really. Shapeshifter seems great. I don't know if we'll play a second one, but I, I like having it. Oh, Nelly. Wow, do we have a God's Willing? No? I don't think God's Willing. These packs have been insane, dude. The blue light seems really open. I'll take a second God's Willing over a third Mystic, so whatever. In case they want to try some living death shenanigans. Let's win some packs for the next draft. Aren't you glad you were like, hmm, one more draft? Definitely. Nailed it, Matthew. <laughs> I like that we were like, well, gotta get it now. But I feel like we've said that for every draft, so, you know. Hopefully my mic still works. I'm afraid I broke my mic by, by yelling so loud. Eh, 
gonna take you. Jeez. Sure. Look at this perfect sideboard. This deck is beautiful. Might just play Myriad Landscape. Maybe not, though. It ramps us one, but, like, we have things to do every single turn. Yeah, our curve's not that high, either. And we have these two guys to get lands if we need to. Yeah, this deck seems great. 15 creatures. Ton of removal. I think we're more blue than white, because everything's, like, single white. We can do this, Jobby. Yeah, yeah. We're more blue. Yeah, 9-8. Airing towards blue. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy meatball. Yeah, I landscape. So, so some people said landscape is good for holding up counter spells, and then someone said landscape is greedy with counter spells. I agree. Like, I never want to have this over a second blue, because then we can't counter spell for that turn. We can't counter spell for the next turn we activate it, and we can't counter spell. So we can't counter spell till the turn after that. <laughs> play the foil mystic. I don't want to have one foil though. Uh, I will play first. Keep. Snap keep. <laughs> oh man, this is gas, dude. I agree though. Even though we didn't play the Myriad landscape, Myriad Myriad landscape, I still think the second to last pick was just not correct. <laughs> as long as we can hit one more land I think we're good better turn two flash him your lion you burr I'll never do that you don't get to see my cat on turn two although he looks real eager are you excited for mono green beats and dominary standard terminal land or elves into turn two jaylet ranger or five four um that does seem a little oppressive Ooh, gross. Did you see the 5-4? The one that power two or less can't block yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Like, why? Because they, they like pushing creatures. I mean, Leatherback... I thought Leatherback Bailoth was really good. He didn't even see that much play. Right, he's a 4-5 for three. That's completely reasonably costed. And this is a 5-4 for three that... Hard to block. Plus, I mean, even if they don't have any creatures, like if it's just on an empty, uncontested board, it's a 5-4, for, for, so it's a 4-turn clock versus a 5-turn clock. Like, gross. I'm also surprised. I thought they were stopping, like, a land of war off effects. What? I thought they were getting away with, like, land of war effects. They were, but now, they, I guess, Dominaria, they're like, let's bring it back. Let's bring make it old school. They don't want that turn one mana ramp, but apparently they do now. I don't know. Why is our opponent taking so long? The only reason I think they're taking so long is because they're just trying to watch the stream. <laughs> That's always what I assume. Oh man, that Jace though. Feels good. Feels good. Alright. Yeah, that was good. I like what you did there. Avison's Pilgrim? That guy was good, too. Yeah, they're playing around Jace by being like, alright, well, never mind. They, they have to have it if they're playing blue, so I guess we scoop. Wow, they're really disappearing, huh? Where'd that? Hmm. 
Interesting. Dang it. Did you already download it? Yeah, but it's on my desktop. <laughs> Hey, we did it. All right. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> <coughs> oh, all right. Great success. I might just counter the first thing they play so that our Jace can resolve safely. Actually, that's a really good... Way to keep Jace alive. Sure. Totally fine. I accept. Just give me a land here so we can Jace and, and have like... Arg. This is This is how it's going to end. They never hit a fourth mana. Man, we got an 05 and a counter spell. We, we got time. Okay, you're right. You're right, Mitchell. Oh, never. Really? Just a little key. This is sad now. I feel like we win the game if we play Jace right here, actually. Agreed. Let's plus it just in case they have Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Little hobo bird bot. <laughs> oh boy, good times, good times. What makes it a hobo? It's life choices. Well, it's got a bunch of garbage on its back, right? <laughs> I mean, that's usually... That's a symbol of hobos, right? You got a lot of garbage on your back. Boy, don't I know it. I did not hit her. It's not true. I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Lisa, Lisa. You're tearing me apart. <laughs> <laughs> that song's actually really catchy. Love is blind. Cheap, 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 cheap. I don't know what's going on here. <sighs> I do feel like if we just get the tab and hit a fourth land, we can win. So... I don't know why it's so hard to do, though. I don't know why you are the way you are. Just hang on. His Twitch feed stopped. He's just getting it back. <laughs> oh, boy. I think he bought one of Mike's cigarettes so slow. What up, PS Punk? Michael, Michael, you're tearing me apart. What is this, Juposhi? Oh, oh, the link. Literally. All right, cool. All right, the little mirror resolves. The little mirror that could. What does enchantment do? Uh, it puts put a count. The one that you put a counter on it when it has five counters, you sacrifice it to destroy two creatures. Ah, here comes a blood bat. Always a blood bat. More like a blood bath, am I right? It's about to be when we play this Jace. Oh, come on. This is really annoying. No, oh, okay. Seems like a fair trade. Alright, that was... Not what I would have thought, but... Okay.
So we've missed sure. three land drops. Chupacabra. I got a line. Lisa, Lisa, you're tearing me apart. Hey, 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 Jay is the mind sculptor, is the, the only way. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's check you out, my friend. Skeleton eyes? Bottom. I don't want you killing this guy and getting in there for two. That seems bad. And you get another one one out of it? No, sir. I don't want to play ship first, because then they can just start putting counters on this pretty aggressively. Like, they can put one there, and then three here. And then they can just wait a turn, and then just kill both of our creatures. So, like right now, with having one dude. See, now we can play ship, and then they just don't have great targets for their for their deadly designs. They also have two cards, and we have a Jace and six cards. So, we don't have a Jace anymore. Well, they still have one card. <laughs> it's only this game is pretty much over. For them? Yeah. I don't care. I'll just play ship here. I know it's self-centered, but every time I'm not playing close attention, I hear you say Chupacabra, I hear Jupacabra, and get all excited like a dog hearing cereal being poured. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. You're amazing. You're nature's little treasure, my friend. <laughs> oh boy. That's quite the clip. That's a good one. Like, they can put a bunch of counters on here and just kill this guy. Which is fine. That's that means they've invested twelve mana to kill a ghost ship. I will likely block God, they had to have uncaged fury in hand to kill our Jace. I mean Jace dealt with an uncaged fury and a skeleton eyes. That's pretty good. And an attack phase. I'll take five from Browbeat and go to sixteen. Yeah, I'm not letting you draw three cards. Yeah, I have a ram in hand, so. You have a ramekin? I have a ramekin in hand, yeah. Actually, there's no reason to attack here. Sure, attack and play the O5. What problem is Oh, uh, I don't want to play two creatures because then they just kill them both next turn. I'd rather actually cycle this, get a land. Um, if they go to put two counters on it, we can actually blow it up ourselves. Which is pretty sweet. So they put it up to four, to three here, and then we can go four, and then on our turn put it up to five. They kill, they try to kill this guy, we blink it. Oh, anyone can put a counter on it? Yeah, any player may use his ability. Which is pretty cool. Japoshi is indeed nature's little treasure. We go way back. You gonna take my ship? Take my ship! So we take four here? Okay, fine. Yeah, they still get to do it, but we only have one creature on board, so we force the issue, and then we can play a creature after that. I'm not saying they don't get to do it. I'm just I'm just choosing when it happens. What's going on now? Does it just die? Like, did I... What, what just happened there? 
Did we respond wrong? I think that might have been a punt. What just happened? Maybe you're responding to the trigger of putting the counter on it? They put the trigger ability from Des Deadly Designs onto the stack targeting Ghost Ship. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. Triggered ability from Deadly Design is countered because it has no legal targets. Puts triggered ability from Deadly Designs onto the stack targeting Ghost Ship. What? Oh, is it just a static ability? Like... This is weird. That card. That card's real weird. <laughs> no, they didn't add another. So, the thing when they... It says up to two target creatures, so it resolve even if it has no targets. That's really weird. I don't understand. What a waste of a cloud shift when we have cloud blazer in hand. Oh, that guy's got to go. All right. Oh, well, that was weird. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely going to actually... I don't know if that's how that works or not, but... It does not feel like it, was, it should work that way, because I don't know why it would do that. If there's, like, a rules expert here... <laughs> Whoop. Let's green. Yeah, I don't know. That's really strange. Because, like, okay, so it targets Ghost Ship. It says when there are five or more plot counters, sacrifice it. If you do, destroy up to... Up to two target creatures, right? There are five or more plot counters, so this goes on the stack. It's telling you to sacrifice it. It's not a may ability. It's not like you, don't, it's not like you may sacrifice it. Well, that's a great card. Yeah, this guy's draws have been pretty live. I mean, they've literally drawn Browbeat, Deadly Designs, Zada, Enthralling Victor, and Fallen Angel, so... Yeah. <laughs> that does block, but... Let's get a free sack. Because of the pacifism guy. Mindset tall. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. That is convenient. I'll just put it in you. Wow, Pyrehound. So three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if you want to. Sure. I will assume you don't have a second uncaged fury. Make me look stupid. Yeah, just take five, sure. <sighs> Remember that time we didn't have any lands and it held us back like three turns, but then we drew a bunch of lands? So, uh huh. Me too. So they can sack. They have to sacrifice both guys to murder of crows if they want to kill both. And then we get to loot a bunch. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually pretty good. Huh. You know what? If you have Uncaged Fury, we're dead. So I'm just going to block here. <clears throat> Maybe we're not dead. I don't know. But, like, you get to kill Cloud Blazer. We get to loot. If you want to sack this guy, no. 
Nothing happens. That was a good deal. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Excuse me. I'm not excusing you, by the way. Just I be, excuse myself. Just want to be clear. Mother of God. Well, that guy's got to go. <clears throat> Isn't that guy deals damage when he comes in? Yeah. Six. We lose six life. Then we leave, so we gain it back or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, their draws are still pretty good. So if we kill it now, when Lacrosse is, that player gains six life. I'm going to let this resolve in case there's some shenanigans where, like... There's no cards in the hand, so there will be no shenanigans. No, but I mean, like, in case there's shenanigans where it's, like... Since the first ability didn't resolve, you don't oh, gain sure. the six life back or something. Decent. Yeah, now we're discarding two islands and keeping a stupid planes in hand. <laughs> They're at thirty-two. Yeah, yeah. The red deck is at the red black deck is at thirty-two. What did they gain life from? Bloodhunter bat was two. Swords was six, so that's eight. Did we give them another four? Oh, Path of Peace was four. Good lord. Yeah, we're at nine. We can start getting in there. Good lord. Their deck looks actually pretty good. They got a Zada. They got a Fallen Angel with an Uncaged Fury. Murder, Bloodhunter Bat, Pyrehound. Like, all their cards have been pretty solid. Unfortunately, we do not have one more blue up, but... Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Mistakes were made, but I didn't foresee us drawing second ghost ship, I guess, so I just discarded the islands. Wow, their top decks have been really, really I, They don't good. draw lands. It's, like, it's really weird. <laughs> like, every every card has been a good, every card's a good been relevant. one. Where was that a minute ago? Nope, just gonna keep that. This is ridiculous. It's really bad, yeah. Like this, this should not have been such a close game. What up, Chris? <clears throat> We also have six less cards than them, so we just have to like win with the. We have the and shapeshifter. We can bring, copy this guy if we ever draw it. However, we're now at a point where um, we get to counter whatever they play, which is great. And I'll take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Would you like to use this ability? Okay. Is Mike B your son? Yeah, this is my this is my baby boy. I need you to look me right in the damn eyes through the camera and be honest with me. Chris? I can't lie to you. <laughs> Look how uncomfortable he is. You get, do you get uncomfortable when your dear old dad tries to connect with you? Very. Did I say six less cards? Six fewer cards. My bad. That's not an acceptable mistake. They have three cards in hand now? Uh, it's not confirmed. It's confirmed. It's not. My son, I'll never go I'll never go out and get cigarettes with you without you. <laughs> Marijuana or otherwise. Oh, this guy! This guy knows the way. <clears throat> why don't you just cast him face up? Why don't you? Why don't you just shut up, face up? Got him. Did you? You know I got you. Don't even pretend like I didn't got you. 
feel like we're finally in the driver's seat here. Finally. You might say we turned a corner. That's not counterspellable. It is. Just wouldn't be great. Right. I'm not going to waste my counterspell on that. And then you're going to then you're gonna windmill slam like... You're going to go Cascade Bluffs, Niv-Mizzet or some nonsense. I'm just going to be like... something like that. What? Plague Wind, something like that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Also, this next fleece is really gaining us a lot of life. Yeah, we're doing good. This is a great card, too. Making your combat impossible. They're at 16, and now with plus one, plus one, this is a four-turn clock. I'm still uncomfortable at a card that came out a few months ago being in a master set. You're, are we talking about uh, Colossal Dreadmaw? Or Ravenous Chupacabra? Oh, I see. That's good. Correction, that's very good. I'm just going to copy your big choops and kill your choops. Oh, your little chooper died. Now we win. Uh, we could have assumed we we could have assumed the, the fiend hunter, but I just liked. I don't like if they have like a response, a kill in response. Like I, what could this be? There's like no flying morphs, right? Watch it be like a chroma. chroma. That's literally what I was thinking, yeah. Because there's no real black... It could be Skirk Prospector. Not Prospector. Um, oh, they they were, they did us a favor by conceding on the stack. It was a Ruthless Ripper. Good to know. Thanks for cool. not making me figure that yeah, one out. right. I could have... I could I would have never known. Um, God's willing. Know. Yeah, they have a lot of removal. Loyal, uh, I like the other Perilous Mirror too. Probably instead of White Main Line, maybe. Yeah, White Main Line was a little slow. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll go 41. This is a 41er. If you copy the, the Fiend Hunter and then turn it face down, they never get the guy back. Yeah, that is correct. Wow, Jace is always going to show up. And we're always going to not have enough mana. Dude, if we can draw two lands... <laughs> This is so greedy, but I want to keep it because Jace is in the hand. We'll just mulligan. He'll still be here. He'll never leave. Oh, wow. He'll never wow. go away. You're really good at this game. Like, really good at this game. <laughs> it's not It's not, It's not. not being good. It's because he'll never leave you. When you were on the beach and you saw two sets of footprints, that's when Jace carried you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my god, we have a good time. And if we don't draw land, we can island cycle. Island cycle. I think we're doing that anyway. Yeah. Actually, we could mirror. Yeah, we can mirror here. Because it actually it decreases the odds of us hitting a land next turn. By by a, mar a fraction of a percent. But because we have swords now, we get to do this and swords if we hit... Uh, I guess we have to hit up a, a planes for that, but I don't really care. Looks like they're missing black mana. Oh, they're missing a third land and a black mana. Oh, now we got both. I'm more concerned with having the second blue, though. For obvious reasons. They got any hasters, you think? Doubt it. We didn't see any. They missed the... Oh, God. We're just going to go turn four Jace, aren't we? Yep. And we're going to plus it and never give them a land. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a fun game. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Is it a land? Oh, they're going to Lightning Wolf in response. Oh, Ooh. why did you counter that? Why not counter that? Uh, put you on the bottom. Yep, you can never have that. You can never have this. You can never have this. That's twice they've literally had the exact answers for Jace. How dare they? Should have brainstormed, I guess. They're just going to be like swamp anyway. Don't even care. 
Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I like that they let us fate seal. That's still so weird. It counters the spell, though. Oh, they disconnected. All right, see you later. Take it easy. I'll miss you. No, JK. Well, it's probably a ruthless sliver, so we can attack. A ruthless sliver? Yeah. What if they flip it up and they make it, uh... What if they give it death touch? So? You don't care about death touch, Michael? No. Hmm. Well, that's your... That's It's your I don't life. I care about anything. I know. I know. So, how you been? How's your mom? Fine. That's cool. You guys talk a lot? Pretty often. Do you, uh... You guys ever give each other back massages? No. <laughs> That's anything else you want to know? I'll ask if there is. Okay. I appreciate your openness, though. You got a light? Uh, for your marijuana cigarette? Yeah. No, unfortunately. Dang. Okay. Well. Mm. Yeah, I'll it's try. rough. You live a rough life. Do you like gladiator movies? Yeah. Name two gladiator movies. I can't. <laughs> Name two gladiator movies when one of them is not gladiator. That's triple impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but you say you like them. Spartacus. That's good. One more. Uh, that's, that's okay. the, there's only two. There's gladiator and Spartacus. That's it. Oh, how about um, Ben Hur? Ben Hur's a good one. There's a. Three hundred. That doesn't, that doesn't count. That's not a Gladiator movie. How's 300 on a Gladiator movie? There's no, there's literally no gladiatorial combat in that movie. <laughs> Actual zero. Okay, that's fair. What about Babe 2, Pig in the City? That's not... Have you seen Babe 2, Pig in the City? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, I can't confirm that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Get wrecked. There's that, there's that movie that has uh, Alexander the Great in it. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Can you read what what Burmer Burmer wrote? Ever grown a naked man? <laughs> what? I don't know. Like grown one from scratch? Like from like from a seed or something? <laughs> like, what? What are we talking about here, man? Oh, Wonder Woman. No way, that doesn't have gladiatorial combat in either. Yeah, you literally, if, if 300 doesn't count, <laughs> Wonder Woman doesn't count. Caligula? I think <clears throat> that has some gladiatorial combat in it. I think our opponent's gone. I think they couldn't deal with a, a two-mana perilous mirror. And uh, now you guys get to sit here and wait. Thankfully, YouTube videos, you can 1.5 the speed. So if you guys haven't done that, oh, Thor Ragnarok feel free to do it count. now. There's gladiatorial combat. Yep. Thor Ragnarok counts. That's pretty good. So we've come together to find multiple movies. How to Train a Dragon doesn't have gladiatorial combat. I bet you have seen that one. What? How to Train a Dragon. Yeah. Okay. What? So? What you getting at? It's a good movie. Hey, man, you ever grown a naked man? <laughs> from scratch? <laughs> no, nah, man, I haven't. Yeah, man, you grow it from the from the ground up. Everybody's done... Every, who hasn't done that, you know what I mean? You ever hang around the gymnasium? Uh, not lately. That's creepy. But you used to, is what you're saying? Every now and then. Mainly huh. when I was in school. Okay. Okay, what'd you do when you were in school in the gymnasium? Hang out. Well, that's not very specific. Smoke cigarettes. What kind of cigarettes? You know the one. <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana cigarettes, you think? Yeah, boy. How to Tame a Grown Naked Man. Yeah, that's a good movie, too. This is getting real weird. Do you consider the Star Wars movies glad to combat when he faced the big bad monster and cone heads? I don't know if that's even a sentence, Matthew. 
Um, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think Star Wars is gladiatorial combat. He did fight in a pit. Coneheads, yes. They were in a they were definitely in an arena. Yeah, that's true. Coneheads count. How did this topic come up? What's going on? I'm I'm so confused. Look at this, look at this headline. Really? That seems unnecessary. <laughs> gonna represent himself that's gas um yeah so uh we've been talking about glad throw combat for about five minutes now just going to the dark alleyway and from the nearest alley employee that you're looking for naked man seeds you have to go to the dark alleyways because man seeds have to be kept out of the sun oh zombub good seeing you buddy episode two of three Episode two or three of Star Wars, Obi Wan and Anakin are in the arena on Geno- Geonosis. Maybe that's gladiatorial combat. Then maybe I just don't want to remember that movie enough. Do you think that Western Warrior is a gladiator? Um, it's possible only because they have shoddy internet, clearly. So maybe they also have three minutes. So even if they come back now, I don't think it's going to work out. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the game. Really? Did no. you think I was playing? I didn't know. I was too busy focusing on chat and the lols. Huh. I had no idea. Wow. Yeah, he disconnected. That's why we're so chatty right now. Maybe not intentionally. I don't know. His internet seems kind of slow to begin with, but at worst, we have two minutes and 40 seconds before this is, before we can move on with our lives. So, uh, oh, what's going on? The Uber Dane, 20 bucks. Don't know if you remember me from earlier. Of course they do. I feel like since I watched probably the last month or so of your videos on YouTube that you should at least get some cash. Uh, from me for your services. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome, dude. Of course I remember you. You subbed earlier. It was really appreciated. And you told me that you always watch me on YouTube. I try to remember names because I think my chat is one of the uh, coolest parts of my stream. So, Is Mortal Kombat gladiatorial combat? I don't think so. Maybe. I think it depends on the level you're on. Ha ha ha. Yeah, shut up. If you're referring to the movie, then definitely I think it counts. What about, um, we've passed the sub record. All right. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I, <clears throat> we're at 185 subs. We are 15 subs away from 200 subs, which is pretty insane to me. Um, that's exciting to me. I don't know what other people are at. I don't care. Um, that's a big number for me, especially because I know I've been putting in a lot of work and streaming regularly for the past four months now, like at least four or five days a week, five days a week, usually sometimes six. So to be at 185 subs is pretty sweet. Yeah, I think Pokemon counts. There's gladiatorial combat. Can we see Mike smoke that joint? <laughs> I mean, I've tried to get a light from him, but he just won't I can't. I, I, yeah, I don't have so, a light for his marijuana cigarette. It's really. It, I feel like it's my fault. I can't get a light. Falls you know? upon me. What are you gonna do? Well, I really don't want you to get in trouble with Jeff Sessions. You know. So, well, you know, I'm not a seller. I'm just a smoker. So I think I'm I still good. think he'd hate you. <laughs> He's an old Keebler elf, and he just doesn't like people, so. <laughs> I've streamed an hour then, so, you know. Dr. Funkburger, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. All right, we got 42 seconds at most. Is it legal in Florida? I've never actually thought of it because it's so common. Uh, it's, Medically. it's medicinally legal in Florida. Which is basically, it's basically... Use the stove. (laughs) (laughs) That's how you can tell you're real. That's how you really... Light uh, on a stove. Yeah, when you're like... It wouldn't even work because we don't have have gas burners. Yeah, we just have... Actually, I bet it would still work. If you hold paper up to those things, they'll probably catch fire. I think Miss Congeniality counts as a gladiator movie. Well, we're going real deep here, aren't we? Use the... (laughs) Oh my god, my chat is such oh gas, boy. dude. Use the stove, Luke. That's good. That's good. And I should have gotten milk milkshake. Instead you probably timing. could have gotten. You literally had enough time to get a milkshake here. Yeah. Well, that's zero seconds. I don't All know right. Can we? What's going on? I just want to go to my next round now. I'm trying to entertain people. Maybe he rage quit. I mean, even if he did, I still want to go to my next round. 
They have no time on the clock. What if it's me? No, it oh, couldn't God. be because it literally says they lost the connection. And don't I'm sitting trust, here chatting with everyone. Moto. Yeah, right? There we go. There we go. It's Ruthless Ripper. Sounds Why good. does it take that long to... Whew. All right, zero seconds. All right, a minute later, we're going right. to win. Oh, we meant a minute and zero seconds. Ha, 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 ha. A coil will work. I've fallen on hard times and reported to it, resorted to it before. Don't judge. Hey, buddy. I know those hard times. When I first got out of college, I had to use food stamps because I just couldn't find a job. <laughs> English degrees, am I right? <laughs> I had food stamps once. It was worth about $12 a month. It was what? About $12 a month. That's pretty bad. Mine was like two fifty. It was real good. That sounds better. It was nice. It was a nice. But you didn't have a job. I had a job, so. That's true. You should have just got a better job, man. <laughs> dummy. Yeah. What a dummy. Well, I didn't. What? Okay. What? Okay. This hand's pretty good. I would prefer a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, Ranger. I wish you could bounce their Myriad Landscape here. That'd be great. Instead, they're going to get some value out of it. Okay. I'm going to bounce that thing. I don't even care what it is. Or do I just play Ghost Chipper? I think you can go ship. Yeah, I don't think we care about that much. Next turn we can go this guy and keep this guy. Or we can just blaze it and cloud blaze it. There's a couple movies I want to rewatch. One of them is Primal Fear. Have you guys ever seen Primal Fear? Uh, I'm that? not going to block your Ruthless Ripper. What that? Primal Fear? It's got Richard Gere and Edward Norton. Oh boy, it's so good. Nobody, if you've seen it, no one give away anything in the, in the chat. Because... Can we get a trailer? Uh, it's an older movie. We'll, we'll watch it after. Blaze, bounce, blaze, bounce, blaze. Do we go blaze and then bounce it with our own Man, our own man of War? Blaze and bounce and blaze and bounce and blaze and bounce and blaze and bounce. Blaze and bounce and blaze and bounce. Big Trouble, Little China. You know, I tried to watch that movie, but it's actually surprisingly hard to find online. Really? Yeah. Also, if... Uh, At least in the illegal ways. I like, uh, oh, they, they're they missing land drops here, which is pretty nice. So they used to go to four, but we're just playing this. Like, Primal Fuel sounds sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. It's really good. I was going to watch it this weekend, if you're interested. We can watch it. It's real good. Why not just tomorrow? Yeah, that would work too, actually. He also said Edward Norton, and I'll pretty much watch any movie with Edward Norton in it. Yeah, alright, let's watch. I'm gonna open this so it's not like we'll pause it for now. Um No, we ain't doing that. We're just gonna mana war this guy next turn. Attack for four, keep up white main lion. Sure. I'm okay, Dad. <clears throat> Jason Mind Sculptor. I like that. We can shapeshifter the Cloud Blazer. That's pretty good. Do we just trade Cloud Blazer for Ghost Ship? Or for Bat? I think that seems fine, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Then we can just play Murder of Crows. And we can play a post combat because I actually don't care about. Oh, wow. They didn't even block. That's interesting. Sure. We actually tried to do that a while back, the spoof of Mystery Science Theory 3000. Me and Mike and our friend Nick, and was it just the three of us? Yeah, it was. It was we us. tried to watch this really bad movie. 
I think we just take four here, to be quite honest. I think you can probably do it now. I don't think you could back then, but I think it would be acceptable now. Well, I think the problem is that they're copywritten. I don't know. Oh, I can't tell. Yeah, but you can still listen to music, though, right? Like, that's weird. You can listen to music, but they mute it afterwards. You're going to put us to 10 here? Living death entered the real zone. Okay, so you're just going to wipe the board. That's actually pretty okay. If that's what you're using your living death on, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to try to hit the Jace here. Uh, lion can go. <clears throat> yeah, that seemed good. Jace on the top, one time. It really wasn't that bad for us. No, that was fine for us. We get to play Shoreline Ranger. In the not too distant future, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we traded ruthless. It was it was Bat, Living Death, and Ruthless Ripper for uh, Ghost Ship, Cloud Blazer, and Murder of Crows. So, whatever. Now we just play Shapeshifter and kill their own guy. And if we draw another blue, we didn't draw another blue. Troop the troop. I'm just going to play this guy. What's the movie you use for a high mark? It's called The Room. Well, that's annoying. I guess we can just swords the... The angel. I guess we can mana war the angel too. We can even troop it. <sighs> and a lot of double blue cards is pretty annoying. I am going to play this planes though. Oh, actually, I guess we could just... Well, I don't want to play, actually, Shapeshifter's not good if you don't get the Enters the Battlefield ability, so... Yeah, you can morph face up, but then you're not going to get any Enters the Battlefield abilities because it's already in the battlefield, so... Oh, Shapeshifter doesn't copy when it's face up? No. Oh. Because it's not Enters the Battlefield, it's already on the battlefield. So we're going to block here. We're going to assume you have... Stamina. We're going to Swords... And two for one, you. Yeah. And now we actually feel like we're in okay shape. Yeah, that's fine. Jace. Ugh, that's that's just annoying. Is it even two for one if they gained a life? Oh, that's a good point, I guess. Did you hear that dog? Oh, I heard him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep this up. We ha we're not in any real rush. We can just block the Man of War. Or block the Chupacabra. Or we can just take two, I guess. We're at ten. Twelve, you mean? Oh, we would be at ten, is what I meant to. I think trading's fine. I like having this guy, both of these, on board for the shapeshifter, though. Okay. Because we can just shapeshifter, kill the man, kill I the... I don't know why we didn't morph last turn. Because we don't get to use the ability if it's not entering the battlefield. Are you sure? Yes, it's not. It's already on the battlefield. Ew. You don't get an enters the battlefield ability from a creature that's already on the battlefield. It's not entering the battlefield. Which one we can't just slam that. 
They have one card in hand, though, so... Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God, it's really frustrating because we can't do both. I guess we can go Path of Peace. Kill... I want this on the board? It sounds to me like you're telling Porky Pies? I don't even... <laughs> what does that even mean? What are you saying? Actually, we can shapeshift to kill this... Flip up Shapeshifter to copy the Nyx Police Ram. Yeah, we gotta do it now. Because we want to play Jace next turn. Alright. So now we got a Choop that flips. They have four power on board, so even if we don't block anything... All right, I feel like we're in good shape here. I'm just going to take three. Because that guy's not a problem if we can turn into a Nyx Fleece Ram. Which we can. Or we can just play our own. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what we wanted. Uh, we'll go Planes, Path... Keep up counter spell. Play next fleece ram. Game over. Yeah, that's probably game. That will do. My cat's breath smells like cat food. Active Jace online. All right. Um, not gonna flip. No reason to. Well, none of these are good. Uh, planes, path. I guess we could actually start using Jace as a win con. I think yep. we're in fine shape to do that. Don't care about that either. Yeah, especially when they're gaining life from sheep. Okay. I think you mean bokeh. Okay, indeed. Oh, it doesn't do much. No, we'll just copy theirs and block it. <laughs> Can you deal with all of my sheep? I also have cloud shifts, I mean. Wow. Um not gonna not gonna flip now. Let me see what you got. Don't want you to have that. So you don't draw pacifism. Fifty Canadian dollars if Mike shaves his beard right now. I was considering shaving, actually. Don't tell them that. <laughs> God. I have an interview tomorrow, so. Nope. It's going to be one of those lands that we were looking at earlier. Supernatural stamina. Yeah, you can put that on the bottom. Because that forces us to use a card, right? Like, they play it on this guy, they kill our sheep. So, I'd rather just not deal with that. I don't want to waste a Counterspell or a Cloud Shift for that when we don't have to. I'll just take my... If they play any creature, we have great answers for it. That's fine. We'll pacify that guy if we have to. Come on, feel the noise. Jays, bounce those boys. Uh, yes. Flyer can go to the bottom. Get a wild, wild, wild. 
Oh, 45 if you're already shaving. See, you ruined it, man. You won't accept 45? I wouldn't accept 45. Oh, yeah. Wait, can we copy this? Can we copy this and kill it? We can... Oof. How do we do it? How do we engineer it, though? We counterspell it. Yeah, we don't. I'm getting greedy. Good to know, though. That's great to know. So we're playing Black White. Oh, they're playing Living Death. We got Nihil Spellbomb. That's probably pretty good. We have double counterspell already, though. We also have two guys to cycle. To cycle, Michael. <laughs> Real original. If you don't mind me asking how old are you... Oh, man, why does everyone ask me my age? A lady never tells. Oh... Uh... Is any of these cards were any of these cards not good? I think they were all pretty good. I might take out White Mane Lion for like another cloud shift. It's basically doing the same thing for one less mana, right? Right? Arcane Denial is pretty good when they have a Chroma and a Living End. Living Death. I'll take White Mane Lion for Cloud Shift, sure. That seems cool. Uh, instead of cutting a land, we're just going to go up to 41, which is a, a a favorite practice of mine. Let's see what this trailer is all about, this Primal Fear trailer. Laws. My professor says from this day forward, when your mother says she loves you, get a second opinion. In the you can't really hear it. This hand seems great. I'll keep this hand. I'm tempted to actually cloud Court Hussar. In such a way that just puts it in the graveyard. Why? Because then we have a little bit of living death protection. Frank is 17 and Mike is his 23-year-old son. Mike's actually a baby who grows 10 times as fast. He's my son with Benjamin Button disease. Born an old man, turning into a baby. A baby. Have you ever actually seen Benjamin Button? In uh, the movie? Yeah. Yeah. It was an interesting film. You're an interesting baby. Hmm. You're an interesting man child. I think the white deck is probably the worst oh, yeah, deck against point, the Chroma. Actually. Cortisar doesn't actually work very well with Living Death because it dies. Well, yeah, but you still get the impulse trigger. You still get the, the trigger. The triggy, if you will. Big triggs. Well, they're not cycling anything, which is great. Like, it's just, it comes back. It, it's going to die, but, like, you still get to draw a card. Like, look at the top three and pick one. I imagine that's a Ruthless Ripper. Probably. That's pretty okay. Let's just flip it. Ruthless flip it. Hmm. Fascinating. It's always Ruthless Ripper, isn't it? It's always Ruthless Ripper, isn't it? Isn't it? Yep. The answer is yes. Oh, well. It's whatever. It is whatever. Whose fleece ram is that? Nix. That's right, it is. Young kids don't have awesome beards, that's true. They usually have real patchy beards. Do I care about this guy? Not enough to counterspell it. Definitely not enough to counterspell it. You're right. What was I thinking? I don't know. I bet we can copy play Shapeshifter down. and copy that thing next turn, though. Mm -hmm. Or we can just wait. What do you think about waiting? It's all right. It's okay. That's a better counter spell. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Mike move in the mysterious way. Just pass. Yeah, I'm the just attacks, passing. Block. Give your guy a trade. Plus. Yeah. I like that. I like block trade. 
Jace really gives you a lot of inevitability. It really does. They also have four cards in hand. We can counter two of them and kill one of them, so... Let's see it. Nope, just a trade. Seems good. He does have a living death, so he's probably fine with trading. Does he, though? Dang it. Maka move in a mysterious way. How come there's no exalted in this in this set? They could have put some exalted cards like Noble Hierarch or something. That's a that's a that's an iconic memorable card. Eager AU, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You are a good, solid dude. I don't care about a 4-4 when we have a 5 and you want that guy in the graveyard anyway. Hmm. I was actually, I meant to copy this guy so that we could actually cycle this during our turn. That would have been sweet, right? Yeah. I guess we can still do that, though. Let's see what happens. We just kill this guy? That's great. That's gas. Got him. We did got him. Oh, that's real sad. Yeah. Could denial it. I don't think I care, though. It's a pretty quick clock. Actually, it is a pretty quick clock. You're right. They also have... Um, no, that's fine. Because they have five mana. They could just go... They want us to counter this, then we living death. Yeah, that's not a thing I care about. Well, we're going to turn this guy face down. Where are my other white mana's at? Where my white mana's at? <laughs> I just said that. You're just repeating me now. Yeah, but it was funny. Oh, uh, we got rid of one of the we got rid of one of the the lion for the second cloud shift, so we just have double cloud shift, which is fine. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, still we still have two ways to get rid of pacifism. Hmm. They have two cards. We have two counter spells. Feeling good about that. Seems like a fine position. I'm just going to gain all the life in the world. Mm, nope. Oh, I think I just said no to one of these Nyx Police Rams. I don't know. Dang it. Bah. <laughs> yeah, we have Mana War too. I hate targeting my own guys with Mana War though. I guess if it's a, if it's like a Vesuvian Shapeshifter though, it's pretty okay. Yeah, it's worth so if they, they would get Ripper, Bloodhunter, Horror, we would get, wow, really? All right, man, get in for one. <laughs> this is aggressive, dude. Like, you get in for one, but then we gain two every turn, so, okay. Doesn't really seem worth. It ain't worth. So what you're doing is playing a passive room to gain us one life. Right, right. And they have one card in hand now, so. Uh, still no. <laughs> okay. I think you mean bugay. <laughs> I do. Okay. Bugay. He gets him regardless. No, we could have blocked if he didn't do that. So, oh, look at old fancy feet over here. Sure. I don't think we hear about that. Well, it just it gives him flying every turn, so it deals three. But I mean, they have to sacrifice a land every turn, I guess. Or no, they don't. I'll just path of peace it next turn. I don't care. We also just take one every turn. The problem is we do have to play some things, so. That's actually pretty good. Ghost ride your ship. 
I like keeping. Oh, goodness gracious. One counterspell is fine. They're on one card in hand. I don't think you need to double counterspell here. I guess you're right. I was wondering. Well, I was, I was figuring like regenerate is probably just going to be good enough, right? Right. They have two cards. We have seven. We also have one card more in our library. So it's like. Sure. Block because reasons. Can we start attacking you now? This is all very interesting. Yep. Is this living in time? Caustic tar. Oh, we're definitely countering that. But excuse me? Yeah, we're pretty counter rich right now, so. Yeah, boy, I got counters all day. We're not going to turn this guy down. Turn down for what? Am I right? Planes, please. Ah, whatever. Should I just put a pacifism on this guy? Good. It's better than Path of Peace because I actually want to close out the game at some point. But it's worse because if they have, if they draw like a Chroma, we don't want a Path of Peace it because, well, we're just probably Swords of the Chroma. Or counter Or Counterspell it. it. I don't want it in the graveyard though because if they have Living Death, sure, I don't care about that guy. They still have one card in hand. I come to see Frank from your sexy, sleek, magic version of Hearthstone, and here he is playing the same old poop the poopening. What up, Willie G? Oh, I don't want you to get that. So we're just gets back a Caustic Tar. Yeah, but we're just going to end up countering the Caustic Tar anyway, right? And we can also just let it resolve. We have two next week's rams. I don't think we care about it. Maybe you're right. Like we lose one a turn. Yeah, we'll but neither of these guys can block is the, really the problem. He's got a 1-1. Oh, yeah. Well, 2-2 two, two now. Sure. You can have it. I'm going to trust you. I just don't think it's that relevant. I don't think you're that relevant. Wow. So rude. They also have no cards in hand. We have two counters. You can spells. also cloud shift whenever you want to get rid of one of those pacifisms. It's true. A little shooty. That's actually good. Block here, shoot here. It's the it's like the perfect answer to these guys. You deal one a turn, I deal two a turn. Seems good. Well, copying a chroma is rough because we wouldn't get to uh we'd still have a pacifism on it. I guess we blink and copy, that's what we'd do. Having to put these on the stack every turn is really the most annoying part, I think. Oh my god, where's the second planes in this deck, dude? Nobody knows. My friend wants me to get into Popper, and when I told him I'd rather stick a spoon in my eye, he said I was overreacting. Hmm. What would Brian Boitano do if he were here right now? Make a plan and follow through. That's what Brian Boitano do. Burp, 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 burp. Do you just sack this guy to deal two so it doesn't kill us? Sure. Man, this is this is some aggressive uh trying to get those points in there. Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not always yield to that, I don't care. Hey, we found one. Good for okay. us. I don't think we're going to do anything with it, but... Yeah, we'll still do something with it. <laughs> I don't care. You have one card in hand. Sack it? You got to sack it. It's so much better in your graveyard. What? No? Okay. Interesting. I mean, you got Living Death. It's got to be better in your graveyard, right? What would Brian Boitano do if he were here right now? Make a plan and follow through. That's what Brian Boitano would do. I said no. Why are you taking so long? Oh, that's a good draw. 
I guess that's true. I guess they do get it back either way, don't they? Because Fiend Hunter would die and then it would come back into the play. Into the play. Cast you. One, two, three, four, five, six, and keep up a counter spell, Ario. This is three, four, five. This is seven damage on board. What's happening? Sure. Oh, they sacked my sacked the passives into that guy flying. Pathing. What is your what is your target? Fiend Hunter. Sure. Oh, they're gonna get their own passivism back. That's pretty good. I'm af I'm still afraid of their last card being Living Death. So this is fine. They put it on here or on here. Either way, the clock is still just fine. Yeah, we can also cloud shift that guy, which is better than wasting a counter spell. I'll go to 22. <laughs> Deal. And no. It's gonna be a land. Now we got the planes pocket. Planes pocket. Uh, we didn't counter the path because, like I said, I'm afraid their last card is Living Death, and if it's Living Death. Uh, they get back Zealot, Horror, Bloodhunter, Bat, Ruthless Ripper, and we only get back Shorthunter, Ranger, and Angelic Page. So it just seems worse. Uh, yeah. This I will counter. That was dumb. We have Infinite Removal in hand. We could have Swords that guy. I was just trying to win the game. But actually, Short if they're not going to bring life. that guy back... What? Sword gains a bunch of life, too. Yeah, I'm just going to finish this. Okay. <laughs> Let's just win the game. Hooray. Mike, it's your father, Gregory Dinkledick. It's time to come home from your play date with little Franklin from down the street. <laughs> All right, so we're 4 0 in, in game so far. That's pretty good. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, even without the Jace, this deck is very good. I agree. It has all the parts of a very good blue white deck. It's got floaters, it's got counties. Got removies. Floaters and counties. And removies? Mm -hmm. Dang. Oof. Sand seems fine. You got two drop, three drop, removal spell. Five drop, four drop. Drop top. Rain drop, drop top. You know what the six? That's a dead meme. You're a dead meme. Dang. Got him. It's weird that all these marijuana cigarettes smell like chocolate. That is weird. You must be you must have that, that cocoa kush. <laughs> you know, you like vape, man, so it's like it's like the vape when you get the Doritos oh, yeah, and the Right, yeah. They went to five on the play. That's pretty good. For us. Not for them. For us. I thought you were broken there for a minute. I think you're broken all day. Oh, that was a good draw. Watch, it's going to be Jace Land. You ready? Jace Land. Oh, my God. Let me draw, let me draw a pacifism for that guy. Okay. Makes up. I'm cuckoo for Goku Gush. <laughs> Oh man, Coco Kush might be your billion dollar idea. Yeah, man, you just uh, inf it's infused with uh, with the cocoa leaves. Cacao, real cacao. What does that creature do again? This one? Yeah. Wrong order, but we're getting there. Uh, if they didn't attack, it deals them two damage. 
Okay. I was just curious why we didn't trade. Oh, because something. Because it was yeah. a two three. It was a one one. Oh, it's a two three. Yeah, it's a oh, two okay. three. Great target for pacifism. Yes, you are correct. Yeah, sure. You got it. Like you do. They have two cards in hand. <laughs> Give me a land one time. I will I will take the risk and bounce this guy with the Jace the Mind school Patario. I mean they're black white. They don't really have any direct damage. You don't. You're right. I don't. All right, and the game is over. <laughs> All right, like you do. Let's let's attack first. Just in case he's got any shenanigans. What are the other two? So uncaged fury was it was a was a thing for Jace. What what was the other way they killed it immediately? And they're black white. They don't really have too much. I think we just bounce it just to be safe. Oh yeah, we're definitely just bouncing it. Because then they have to replay it. Oh, it was red on to blast. Okay, so both of those things are off the table. Yeah. They can't uncage Fury, they can't they can't burn it, and they can't rev it, so Rebbit, Unless rev it. they go mountain red elemental blast, which would be very impressive. I would be impressed. They could they could vindicate it. Griffin big griffs, sure. Griffin door. We're just gonna do this now. Hmm. 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 Do 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 do. I'm gonna put you on top. I'm not gonna play this guy yet because I'm gonna keep Cloud Shift. We'll play him next turn. I'll put you followed by you so we can draw the land. So we're gonna play Plow on this guy, I believe. Plow on the cow. It's not a. It's not a cow. And now we're gonna grab the shapeshifter. Yeah, easy, easy choice. <sighs> Chase the mind sculptor better than all. Seems like a easy, easy game, easy life. Oh god, please be a pacifism on top. Please. Double pacifism? Don't they just die to their own creatures? Oh god. I guess they could have the, uh, the cloud shift. Which is scary. But they didn't have it when the Urgrader was out and they had four untapped mana, so... They would have had to draw it. That Jace kid might just make it in this town. Pacifism one time. Okay, we did it. <laughs> uh, we'll put... This is disgusting. <laughs> we'll put land... I don't think I can be a part of this anymore. <laughs> Oh boy. And we're done. Pass it up. Pass, pass it up. And they take damage from that guy? They're taking three a turn from their own gentleman. Seems good. We could have attacked there. We should have attacked there. Uh, ooh, I don't think so. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Free me! This is disgusting. I don't, yeah, every time I activate this, it's just, oh god. 
Probably put back a ghost ship. No, we're going to play the ghost ship. We have four or five. We'll have seven, so we can go ghost ship counterspell. Or we can go murder counterspell. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't see the card murder in your hand. I'm confused. Oh, my God. It's a murder. It's a different type of murder, Michael. Oh, that guy's got vigilance. So if they block, we pump. If you block, we pump. Do I want to start ticking up Jace? No, Jace is our win condition in this game. Attacking and, and dealing damage is our win condition, so. What do you get rid of here? I don't care. I just really don't you even. cloud shift it. I don't have white right now. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, that's true. I mean, I just don't care about it. This guy's just going to kill. <laughs> Death by Urgraders. Also, we can just actually, we have Vizu and Shapeshifter on top. We just Shapeshifter steal this guy. Uh, they conceded. I wonder why. Uh, I have an idea. I have, a, I have a feeling why they might have done that. Would you say it's more than a feeling? No, it's just a feeling. I really don't like Lion. Me neither. I do like God's Willing, though. Especially against the, the Black White deck, yeah. Is God Willing just worse than... This is just worse than Cloud Shift, though, right? Um, when you're yes, trying to protect? I think so. Because like, you get to trigger the Enders of the Battlefield abilities with these guys. Yeah, probably. All right, suit it up, boot it up, suit it and boot it. <laughs> suit it up and suit it out. Uh, hey I like to get a nice whiff. Actually, I think Perilous Mirror might be better than the Angelic Page here. Because they got a bunch of stupid idiot ground guys. If you know what I'm saying. Did you take a big whiff of your marijuana cigarette? Yeah, man. Okay, that's cool. This is why my, my YouTube videos get demonetized because... We keep joking about marijuana cigarettes, <laughs> and they're actually just Hershey's wrappers. Oh, they went to six again on the play? Good lord. Don't go to five again. Or go to five. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not. Oh, they did it. They went to five again. Oh, my God. I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to. Whiff it and spliff it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, you, do you ever whip it, whiff it and spliff it, bro? All day. Suit it and boot it. Whiff it and spliff it. Last Rider? Aggressive. Super aggro. That's why we took out that Angelic page for this mirror. At least the mirror kills it. We drew another island, which means we're probably poised to draw Jace. My name is Chef. This is my little mirror. Put on a happy mirror. So what do you think the odds of us getting six packs here and lots of play points? Uh, well, there's no play points, but oh. the odds of getting six packs feels high. Do you just get six packs if you win? Yeah. Okay. You get play points if you do the phantom drafts. I think we just block here. Yeah, I don't really see a reason not to. Like, I what's mean, the point of this a little guy? value, but... We lose one point of value. You're right. But if they have, like, supernatural stamina and they want to, like, bring back their lacerator, you got it. Are they doing a thing? Are they thinking about it? What are you willing to sacrifice? Oh, my God, it's supernatural stamina? That's really aggressive. Wow. They are going all in on this lacerator, dude. On Lassie, dude. Classic boy. Well, next turn they got to deal with the shipperino. I think the odds of you guys getting six packs are pretty slim, given all this talk about milkshakes and public tendies. What? What? How are those related? They have two lands. They have missed two land drops so far. 
Erg Raider? Oh my god. This is ag very aggressive. Ghost ride your ship. I feel like we should have waited just till we had Cloud Shift, but that seems dumb. Um, so I'm from Orlando and moved to the West Coast, but I miss public so much. Oh my god, same. When I was in Seattle, it's the only supermarket I wanted to go to. And Safeway I is not it. as good. Safeway is not as good, dude. I mean, it's okay. I had a public sub today, actually. It was wonderful. They never steer you wrong. Dude, they don't. Do they have another one? I'll just take four this time. Next time I get to keep up Cloud Shift and Counterspell. They did hit another land. Oh, that's so good, though. Publix is a supermarket in uh, like the south southeastern region of of the United States. To God's willing, it's either God's willing or Cloud Shift, right? Or it, or it actually could have been Supernatural Stamina again. I feel pretty safe attacking here because if they try to do anything to this mana war, we just cloud shift and bounce their other lacerator. This is unbelievable to me right here. <laughs> you heard this personal his personal lawyer quit, right? Yeah, I heard about that. Which is weird because you don't do that if you have an, an an easy case to defend, right? Probably not. All right, so we just traded for Lacerator. That seems fine. You just hit a land and get Templar. Yes, we did get a Jace. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. Like, we win this late game. I want to close out the game quickly, but there's no real point to it. They also can't attack into our ghost ship, so this guy's going to start chipping away at their life total. And we have Counterspell and Cloud Shift up, which is pretty insane. Neros, we finally did it, buddy. Pack three, pick one. We were very solidly in uh, blue-white already, which is pretty insane. And our deck was looking great at the time, so here comes the Supernatural Stamina number two. Oh, Active Heroism? What's the, what are the, I think we're just cloud shifting here. Yep. I don't want to kill your guy. I also don't want you to gain life. But his guy can block another another guy this turn, which is pretty good. Yeah, totes. Oh, we weren't supposed to attack there. Yeah, Dang I don't know it. why you attacked. That was weird. Oh, well, it just went right to the end step. That was unfortunate. Not what I wanted to do there. I think we can actually just close out this game and not care about this lacerator, to be quite honest. Whatever, I'll take two. Whatever this is is getting countered. It's annoying. I'm t I don't want to keep this up. I just want to play Noble Templar next turn. Attack them to six, play Noble Templar. I also don't want to start killing their things and giving them life. Like, they go to six. If they're able to kill Noble Templar, they go to four. I wish we were at 11, though. I think that, yeah, that one turn we attacked with Ghost Ship was pretty bad. We just sacrificed one point for two. That was just a misclick. I was thinking too fast. Here comes Chupacabra. Oh, that's great. That's just fine. That is not a thing we care about. Nope. Block? 
What on earth? All right, threw that guy away. Cool. What? Oh, what just happened? <laughs> he threw his dude in the trash can. There's no way he has a trick still after that many turns. Like, there's just no way. Plus, it has to be able to kill a 3 5. That was interesting. I mean, they can. We can just regenerate this guy if they're living death. They're living death, right? Like that seems good. They go to one here. Mm -hmm. So what is going on right now? I think we're winning. It sure seems like it. Watch them have living death. I'm waiting. No, this is six mana. Seems fine. So they go to five, but then they don't have a good flyer to block with. You can also just draw something sweet here. Uh, that's not how a living death works. You actually exile the creatures from the graveyard. I think it's sacrifice. I think it might sacrifice. I think it does sacrifice the creatures, though. Yeah, so you're right. Actually, sacrifices it sacrifices the creatures in play. I um, think so. Well, we can't get around this, so we just have to kill it. Unfortunately. I'm tempted to not even put this guy in the graveyard. In case they do have living death. I doubt it. We haven't seen it. You know what they do? It's not that bad. We have like a Mana War. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. We get a Mana War and a Perilous Mirror. They get a bunch of stuff back, though. Yeah. Well, they get two Lacerators, though. And we can actually, like, Swords one of our own guys to uh, to stay alive here. He has no living death. Wow. All right. Bold proclamation there. If he does, it would have to be a top deck. He would have played it by now. Well, if he drew this and knew he could chump block before playing it, that seems a lot better. Sure. There it is. Nope. Six mana again. Herbus Protector number two? That would be good. That would be good. Oh, boy. That's aggressive. That was really ridiculous. That's a good draw. And it does present lethal next turn. Alright. We're not even attacking. We're just keeping ghost, ghost ship up. Ship them and mip them. Chocolate ship them. Alright. Let's do it. That's annoying. No, it ain't. We got Cloud Shift. They have one card now. Wah! Is your last card Living Death or Removal Spell? Here we go. Chupacabra. Murder? Well, it still doesn't... Why would you kill that? Well, because they have seven power and attackers, so oh, sure. we're gonna regen, and we're just gonna swords one of your guys. Wow, that was a great hand, though. I 
This puts you to seven and you take five. This puts you to six and you take five. So you are not the only one with a, a completely useful hand. Does that win us the game? Yes. Thank you. I was like, oh man, what can we do? Someone said swords your ghost ship. Um, if we swords the ghost ship, we would have gained two. Um, it would have had six on board. Actually, no, they would have had Herbus Protector though. It wouldn't have been... No, they would have been at three though. Yeah, swords in the ghost ship would have been good. I just missed it because I figured we had a way out. So I just was satisfied with that. Ooh, good games. And that is six packs and a Jace. All right, feeling we finally did it. We got the Jace we've been craving. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for, for being here for the ride. Uh, thank you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't done so, if you, if you like the content. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.